Hello, my name is Samir and I'm a technical marketing engineer at Cisco. In this video, we will take a look at how to provision Cisco Secure Firewall Threat Defense and Cisco Secure Firewall Management Center virtual devices in VMware using Terraform. Now, instead of provisioning these devices using the point and click GUI, which would involve these many steps, Terraform enables deploying these devices using the concept of infrastructure as code, utilizing a bunch of files executed in a certain order while addressing the requirements of scale, heterogeneity, and efficiency. There are ready-to-use templates available at Cisco DevNet Secure Firewall GitHub repository for both FMC and FTD in VMware. You can download these templates from the repository along with several other templates and automation resources categorized based on the different Cisco network security products and cloud providers. So for this use case, the required templates could be found under this folder containing all the required files and an overview of what the template does and how to use it. After downloading the files, the first thing to do would be to update the terraform.tfwares file with the required values for the variables. These variables will be used to set up the vSphere provider, will be used to set up the data sources such as the data center, resource pool, the networks that will be used by the VMs among others, and also to set up the day zero configuration for the device. After the variables are updated, there are certain prerequisites that need to be followed before we can start the deployment process. You should have Terraform installed and set up on your system. You should have the Cisco Secure Firewall software package downloaded and available on your system. Ensure that all the required files from the package are available in the same path as your VI OVF template. And you should have the vSphere credentials that will be used for authentication. Once these prerequisites are addressed, the first command that we would run is Terraform init which is used to initialize the working directory where all the Terraform configuration files are present. Following this, we will run the Terraform plan command to create the execution plan. Now this execution plan is primarily a set of proposed actions which will be executed in order to match the remote objects with the config that's there in your file. So this template tells you that the virtual machine will be created along with the specifications for that machine, such as the data center, memory, CPU, the disk specifications, the network interfaces that would be added, and the VApp properties that would be configured to the device. And at the end of the plan, you also get an information on the number of resources that are created. And in case of an update, the number of resources that would be changed or destroyed. Verify the plan and once satisfied, we can run the Terraform apply command with the file name that was used in the Terraform plan. Running the command will begin the deployment of the devices as coded in the configuration file. It may take a bit of time for the deployment to complete and once done, you will be able to access the devices using console or through SSH access. Once up, you can log into the device using the credential provided by you in the TFWARES file. And you can verify that the day zero configuration on the device matches with the data provided by you, which would be the host name, the DNS server, the management IP address, and also the manager configuration which would have the FMC IP address to which the device would be integrated to. And thus, you would have two FTD devices which are functional without having to log into the dashboard. The use case in this video covers provisioning two FTD devices in the same resource pool. But the same template can be used to provision a single or multiple instances of these devices 
in different data centers on different hosts in different resource pools along with several other specifications that can be modified and also scale up or down the number of instances as per the requirements additionally updating and modifying your resources using terraform is as simple as changing the configuration file and then running a terraform plan to see the resulting change followed by a terraform apply to enact the changes and when you are done using the resources you can delete all the configured resources with a single command terraform destroy and with a single command all the resources created by the terraform will be destroyed with this we have covered provisioning of cisco secure firewall devices in vmware using terraform and i hope this was useful to you thank you